management is um, managing, okay, controlling, and uh, kumbaga, um, organizing all the money or the monetary um, assets of a certain in the industry or enterprise, de ba? And then uh, normally that um, that investment or that money uh, a company has, de ba? They are uh, securing it and at the same time putting it in investment for them to earn more. Okay, so what we have right now is the uh, what you call this the full coverage or the full um, explanation of what treasury management is all about. Okay. All right, so treasury management it generally refers to the funds and revenue at the disposal of the bank and day to day management of the same. So it could be a bank, it could be an industry or, a, or an enterprise. Na they have this fund okay, or a form of asset and um, at their own disposal. So they have to monitor on the check every transaction that they are having in a day or for the whole day, for the whole week, for the whole month, something like that. So that's the reason why in the treasury department, okay, they are checking every receipts that they are receiving. All right. So that's part of their auditing. Na rin. So um, they are managing okay and then uh they are checking it and uh what you call this kumaga parang they are monitoring all the receipts all the transactions going out all the transactions that are at our oh, what you call this the the profit coming in okay so they are closely monitoring those all right because normally when we say treasury management you are managing the treasure you have in the company Right, so example natin in 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 a certain household, diba? So in a family, so normally your your mom is the one who is uh in charge of safekeeping, diba? Or or in charge of the budgeting of the funds that you have in the house. So it's similar with the um treasury management in an organization. So you are monitoring, closely monitoring the assets that you have. Or the treasure that you have, you're going to manage it for the company not to file bankruptcy. Diba? And another one is the treasury acts as a custodian of cash and other liquid assets. So custodian of cash for safekeeping. Okay. And then, like what I've said, um, uh, like what I've what I've mentioned earlier, you are monitoring okay, the flow of cash that you have in the company. Okay. And at the same time, other liquid assets. When we say liquid assets, uh, these are the cash. Diba? These are any form of cash that is what you call is liquid. Okay? Not necessarily or not the typical na liquid na parang tubig. Kumbaga, it is easily convertible to cash. Okay? So, ganun siya kabilis pag sinabi nating liquid assets. And then, the art of managing within the acceptable level of risk Right, the consolidated fund of the bank optimally and profitability. So that's what how we define treasury management. You are managing within the acceptable level of risk. So what are we talking about the level of risk here? So it's more on um, if you invested into something, diba? you're going to, to to acquire this particular risk. All right. So a risk of probably you're not going to earn that much or uh, a risk of since you haven't um, fully studied the, the company that you're going to invest in, there's a possibility that the company will will uh, shut down for the, for the next couple of years, something like that. Pero syempre, that's a risk for you to take. So it's either you win or lose. That's the role of, uh, that's the rule of the game in, in, in investing. So you are going to manage that that asset or that treasure that you have, okay? And then um, you have to accept that risk. It's either you win or you lose, okay? Pero syempre, for you not to lose, you have to study well. You have to, to monitor it um, very well, okay? If your investment is um, doing good or not, right? The consolidated fund of the bank, so you're going to consolidate, you're going to monitor all the receipts, all the transactions that is going on 
pay and then if you are earning or not. So the bottom line here is with that definition, you are dealing with treasury management. All right? Nakakasunod po. Nakakasunod po millions or billions of assets that they have. So they have to monitor it uh, very well. Um, the proceeds of these transactions. Okay, so they have to manage it. Because if they're not going to manage it, magbuksa ka ng company. So it's a domino effect. Kung magsak yan, what will happen to the employees? What will happen to the owner? What will happen to the assets that they have? De ba? All the investments that they they went through. Okay, so they're managing it, and at the same time, they are um regulating the risk that they are experiencing or they are uh kumbaga, they are facing whenever they get into investment so another example for for um investment in a in a company for example they're going to venture in um in real estate so they're going to to buy a parcel of land and then they're going to transform it into a condominium right so one of the risk there is what if um there will be no tenants okay what if there will be no um people would would not like to 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 invest in that kind of condo okay so something like that so they have to study it well or what will happen to the economy once they finish the the construction of that condominium okay so those types of risk so they have to to check it every now and then Okay, and then they have to make it. Kumaga, they have to balance. So there are some expenses, or there's a huge expenses. So they have to think of ways on how to uh, get back on those expenses. So they have to earn, right? And another thing, it is the window through which banks raise funds or place funds for its operations. Okay, so it's a window wherein they can raise funds. So for example, in a company, they wanted to, to put up this kind of investment. So what they're going to do is they will not get that um, expense from the company. So they're going to get it for, to some people. So they're going to raise funds. By means of what? They're, by means of um, selling stocks. Okay. So when we say selling of stocks, uh, a lot of people will, will, get, will engage into that. And um, that company promising the the stockholders for a huge amount of profit. Okay? Uh, simplihan natin na, limbawa, kayo may ari ng company, si company A. And then, gusto nyo ngayon mag-invest. Parang, ay, kailangan natin ng, ano, ng uh, expansion. Okay? So, si company na yan, uh, bibili ngayon siya ng isang area okay, para makapag-produce lalo ng maraming output. Kaya lang siyempre, para mas maganda ang dating, uh, you're not going to use your asset, kukuha kayo ngayon ng mga stockholders. Okay? So, maglalabas kayo ng mga stocks. So, mag-invite kayo ngayon ng mga tao para bumili ng stocks nyo. Okay? Promising those people, yung mga magiging stockholders nyo, na mag-earn sila ng ganitong percentage. Okay? So, maglalabas kayo ng mga stock certificate and so on. Okay, bawa ang mga per unit ng stocks yung 1,000 pesos, bibili sila ng at least 50 units, something like that. Tapos, after 5 years, kailangan ibalik mo sa kanila yung stocks nila or depende sa agreement. Alright? So, nakahanap ka ngayon ng 1,000 na tao for those stocks. So, mga stockholders mo ngayon sila, mga bagong stockholders. Alright? So, dumami ngayon yung stocks mo. Dumami ngayon yung assets mo. Napanggawa ngayon ng expansion mo ng company. So syempre, nung expansion na bang ginagawa yan, obviously magkakreate ka ng mas mataas na production at mas mataas na profit. Ngayon, pagdating na ng mga due date ng mga uh, stock certificate ng mga stockholders mo, ibabalik mo ngayon sa kanila. So make sure na kailangan mo silang iba ibalik yun kasi obviously nag-earn ka na from that production. Nag-earn ka na from that um, um, <coughs> expansion. Alright, so ganun yung nangyayari for raising of funds. So yun yung mga options natin. Kaya may minsan makikita nyo, may mga um, stocks na uh, yung sa stock market, di ba? Sa government naman, they are issuing, issuing treasury bonds. Alright, pero anyways, 
those um certificates okay, will be furtherly discussed uh, on some subjects that meron pa kayo for finance. The department is responsible for the company's liquidity. So in every company, in every organization, they have this uh, treasury department. So it's part of the finance. So it's different uh, from finance, from accounting, and then they have this treasury. Because since the treasury department, they are responsible for the company's liquidity. Any asset, any form of asset that is easily convertible into cash, that's liquid. All right, so take note of that. And then the treasurer must monitor current and projected cash flows and special funding needs. Okay, so in every treasury department, of course, you have this treasurer or yung in Tagalog ingat yaman, di ba? Meron tayo sa mga, mga school activities, di ba? You have your president, you have your vice president, secretary, and then you have the treasurer. When you say treasurer, anything that has something to do with the money. Yon, sa kanya naka, um, siya, yung responsi siya yung responsible for that. So, <clears throat> in an organization, ganun din. So, if we have a treasurer, he or she is the one who is monitoring all the um, assets the company has. Okay? So, of course, meron siyang mga assistant okay, na po pwedeng mag-monitor din ng mga cash flow, mga receipt, mga... Um, yung mga uh, advances, di ba? Yung mga kailangan ng mga funds for this particular project, for this particular um, expense or acquisition. So, he or she has to monitor it. Alright? And then, in using that information to correctly invest excess funds, right? As well as be prepared for additional borrowings or capital raises. So, kumbaga, si treasurer, siya yung may alam on how many assets or how much the asset the company has. Alright? And then, he or she is closely monitoring it together with his uh, department or his um, members, diba? his or her members, okay? checking na baka mamaya we keep on spending too much, wala na pala tayong pambayad. Or we keep on uh, buying too much kasi normally in a, in a company, di ba? Um, you're not paying it for cash. You're paying it by terms, di ba? You're going to acquire, for example, office supplies. So, amounting to 100,000. You're not going to pay it for cash. You're going to pay that 100,000 after 30 days, di ba? You're going to create checks. So, ibang... Ibang department naman yung nagkikreate ng mga payables, yung mga nagbabayad sa mga payables natin. Okay? Ibang department naman yung nagsisettle ng mga, o yung kumukuha ng mga receivables natin from other companies. Alright? Pero normally si treasurer, sinecheck niya yan, ano yung mga lalabas na pera sa atin. And of course, yung papasok na pera sa atin. So pag halimbawa, mas malaki yung lumalabas na pera, yung expenses, kesa doon sa pumapasok na pera, what went wrong? So, Ngayon, kailangan ngayon ng investigation or kailangan ngayon ng um, checking. Ano nangyayari? Bakit ang baba ng collection natin, yung mga receivables? Bakit ang laki ng expenses natin? Saan napupunta? So you have to monitor na all the receipts. Okay? All the piso na lumalabas. All the money na lumalabas doon sa company. Okay? So yung mga, um, mga projected na mga cash flow, mga projects na gagawin, mga expenses. So Yun yung trabaho ni Treasury Management. And of course, uh, you as a student, soon, when you graduate, you will be part of this uh, industry. That's why you're taking up financial management tip, or anything na related to, to finance or business. All right? And then, um, using this particular information for checking all the cash flows and, and funding needs uh, to correctly invest excess funds, Normally, at the end of the year, so they, they earn something. Um, prepare for additional borrowings or capital raises. So, checking, uh, kumbaga, it's a decision-making from, from, from the treasurer na, oh, we have this excess funds, di ba? Na monitor natin closely yung, yung funds. So, we have excess. So, we might want to invest it to earn more. Something like that. Or, um, since we have this excess funds and we wanted to expand, to, to gain more profit and, of course, to, 
to be kumbaga parang uh, to be stronger, 'di ba? Or mag-acquire tayo ng ibang mga assets or mag-join force tayo with another company. So that's another um that's another investment. So that's part of kumbaga parang making that company bigger and stronger. So naka treasurer pa rin siya. Kumbaga, nasa decision making yan ni treasurer na upon checking of the <clears throat> the funds that we have, okay? So we can say that um we can invest, 'di ba? We can say that we can um <clears throat> what do you call this? We can um tag no to, make our company bigger by acquiring more assets, by um expanding, okay? Expanding our manufacturing plant, something like that. Right? So, naki treasurer 'yon kasi siya yung monitoring. All right? And then of course, the department must also be must also safeguard existing assets which calls for the prudent investment of funds while guarding against excessive losses on interest rates and foreign possessions okay so you are safeguarding you are um sabi nga natin kanina you are monitoring the assets okay you are also controlling you are also monitoring you are also safeguarding ikaw yung nagbabantay ng existing assets natin All right, which calls for the prudent investment of funds. So it's for you to to decide kung uh, conservatively ganitong klase investment ang gagawin natin or sobrang lakas ng kumbaga sobrang aggressive yung dating ng ating investment. Okay? And of course, you are guarding against the losses. So losses on on interest rates, okay? Losses on foreign possessions kasi normally Uh, the rule of the game in investment, di ba? So, it's a risk. Sabi nga natin kanina, you are monitoring also the risk. So, what part of risk, another part of risk is the losses. Pwede tayong matalo dyan sa mga investment na yan. Or kung halimbawa naglaro tayo sa stock hold, uh, sa stocks, okay? pwede tayong matalo dyan na kumbaga we, um, we pulled this amount of money to people And yet, naging failure pala siya while while expanding, while doing this uh this project. So what will happen now to the people na kinuha na mo na mga pondo, di ba? So biglang tumaas ngayon ang interest rate ng mga banko kasi you're going to loan from a bank. And then nagka nag sinasabi natin highly volatile ang mga currencies for an exchange. Okay? Pwedeng sobrang tumaas, sobrang bumaba, pwedeng matalo ka diyan. So, kumbaga, um it's a smart decision making, okay, of the treasurer and at the same time the company as well. Right? Ano ba tama nating gawin? So, kumbaga, makikita natin what will be the trend for every every year the economy has. 'Di ba? Lalo ngayon, syempre, it's very uh, critical kasi we are experiencing pandemic. So, there are so many companies that are closing down. So, It's more on uh, are we going to just safe keep uh, safe keep the the money or we're going to have this um parang risk of investing it and then later on we will just uh, experience the 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 earnings diba? so it's for you to decide it's for the treasury to decide and at, at the same time the owner of the company so kailangan nilang pag-aralan mabuti not just mere um anong tawag nito yung yung kutob di ba or uh kumbaga intuition it's more on they have to dig into some um theories they have to dig into some ideas some research okay before getting into that business before getting into that expansion all right plus and decisions that cause changes in working capital and profitability while also maintaining key relationships with investors and lenders. So sabi ko nga kanina, paulit-ulit nating sasabihin na the treasurer needs to monitor. Okay? So he or she has to monitor all the um, finances, all the assets, all the treasure the company has. Okay? And then since he or she is monitoring about that, about that. So He and she, he or she is also maintaining the the relationship, okay, with the investors, the lenders, okay, the company has, diba? or the, the the employee itself. So 
kumbaga, he know how, you know, he or she knows how to play the game. Diba? So, kailangan ng, in, in the business, alam, kailangan natin na rapor-rapor, di ba? Like for for instance, in online selling, di ba? So, hindi mo kailangan magmasungit. Hindi mo kailangan maging, um, magpakita ng hindi maayos sa ugali. So, you have to be friendly at all times. Pero, na to the point na lulakohin ka. Alright? So, sabi nga natin, you are monitoring the money that you have. Pero, na to the point na madali ka maluloko. So, kailangan alam mo kung paano nilalaro yan. Alam mo kung kailan ka lulukohin, alam mo kung kailan ka matatalo, at alam mo kung kailan ka mananalo. Alright? So, paano ginagawa yan? Siyempre, you have to study. You have to to learn okay, what's going on in the treasury. Diba? What's going on in your company. So, just by looking at the papers, just by looking at the financial statement, diba? just by looking at the status of the investors and the lenders, so you can decide. Okay, so for example, you the treasurer, so meron kang um, isang kliyente na would like to to lend money or to to have a loan. So you have to study the the financial status of that of that person. Okay, so I believe papasok tayo dun sa isang subject na credit management or the credit and collection. So dun yun naman malalaman yung mga topic na yan. Um, how to assess, di ba? A certain company or a certain individual if he or she is capable of paying a certain debt. Okay? So, we have here the role of treasury department. Actually, medyo madami siya. Pero, syempre, isa-isa um, natin i-discuss to, pero most likely for next week na yung mga ibang mga roles na yan. So, we have the role for cash forecasting. So, you know, forecast or forecasting the the assets, the cash that will be um, coming in, okay, and forecasting the possible expenses, all right. So if 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 a certain company would like to to invest into something, uh, into something, okay, so the treasurer will somehow forecast. What will be the estimated um, uh, expenses for that expansion? And at the same time, what will be or how much will be the return after uh, the expansion will be executed? Diba? So, limbawa, magtatayo ng, mag-expand tayo ng another manufacturing plant. Gano'ng kalaking manufacturing plant yan? Ilang machines ang kailangan natin bilhin? And in every machine, how many output can produce? Bawa in an hour, in 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 a day and how many employees are we going to hire diba uh, gaano karaming uh, napo-produce niya ng walang error diba paano ang quality control niyan all right ano ba ang trend ngayon ng company na ano ba ang trend ngayon ng economy mabebenta ba siya okay mataas ba ang demand para sa ganyang product and paano ang pricing natin diyan pag halimbawa ganitong presyo magkano yung estimate na magiging income natin Okay? So, pag ito yung naging income natin, magkano ngayon yung magiging expenses natin? Yung raw materials ba natin na gagawin para dyan? Mahal ba? Paano pag nagmahal siya? Ano yung benchmark natin para dyan? So, gano'ng karami ang break... Um, paano kailang, magkano pala magiging break-even natin dyan para mabawi natin? So, those, those things, kailangan naglalaro na yun sa isip na isang treasurer, na isang uh, employee na related sa treasury. Okay, so you are forecasting, all right? So um, it simply means that, parang you mismo, ikaw mismo, all of you students are taking up business, business, de ba? Business related course. So if you're going to to sell something, di ba naglalaro na sa isip mo na pag binenta ko to, mawas si cell phone, you bought it for five thousand, and then you're going to sell seven thousand, may two thousand kan tubo. Pero yung 2,000 tubo na yan, ano pong babawas mo? Bawa na masaheros ka. Diba? Nagutom ka. Alright? So pag palagi na 1,500 na yung nakuha mo, is that enough for you to, to um, for you to, kumbaga yung worth nun? Pwede sabihin mo, oo, oh, okay na yon Okay? And then meron isa ulit na gusto mong ibenta. So nakikita mo kung magkano magiging kita mo dyan. Alright? And then, pag may bibenta ka naman na isang item, 
So, ikaw nag assess na rin mismo kung magkano siya magiging uh, benta niyan ngayon from the existing or the, from the original brand new na ito yung price na nagamit mo na siya, magkano na yung mga depreciated value. So, most likely, ganun din si Treasury Department. Kumbaga, you are just forecasting the cash that you have. Okay? The, the assets that you have. Magkano ngayon yung lalabas na pera? Magkano ngayon yung papasok? Okay? Magkano bang pwede natin gasusin dyan? Sa mga susunod na panahon, magkano itataas ng presyo niyan? Sa susunod na panahon, magkano yung usual na, na uh, ano ba yung mga rate natin for inflation? Kumbaga, you have the rough estimate. So, sa susunod na panahon, baka nagtaas ang interest rate. Paano ang gagawin natin? Okay. Nakasunod? The, the, the department or the, the, the company itself, you're going to manage about it. Okay? The cash management, okay? and then um, the investment management, okay? treasury risk management, management advice, Credit Rating Agency Relation. So lahat to ha, madidiscuss natin. Uh, siguro for, for next week or for the following weeks kasi um, at the end of the module, kailangan malaman natin what are the different roles of the Treasury Department. So that is kumbaga, essential for us to, to learn about it. We also have the bank relationships. Okay? Fundraising credit granting, and what are those other activities that are involved in Treasury Department? Alright? So, simulan muna natin, since marami siya, we have 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, we have 11. So, simulan muna natin siya kay cash forecasting. Yan. Okay? So, the accounting staff generally handles the receipt and disbursement of cash, but the treasury staff needs to compile this information from all subsidiaries into short range and long range cash forecast. Okay, so you are handling the receipt and disbursement of cash. Uh, so since you're handling the receipt, you are recording all the transactions that are written on the receipt. Okay, and then syempre, the treasury staff need to compile it Okay, to safe keep all the information and then uh, just by recording it, just by compiling it, you can see now the forecast. Kasi for example, for, for the receipts that you acquired for the whole year, pag-aaralan ngayon yan, ganito pala kalaki yung expenses natin. Okay, and then you're going to, to record and compile all the receivables. O ganitong amount pa lang na kolekta natin for this year. So we're just going to compare it from last year, last last year, and so on. So makikita mo yung ups and downs. Okay? From last year, ito yung na-acquire natin. Ito yung nabili natin. Ito yung na-collecta natin. So we are going up. Pataas tayo. ba? So you can see you now the trend. Now, kung makikita mo naman na pababa tayo ng pababa, What's happening? What went wrong? Ba't mababa ang sales natin? Bakit mababa ang, ang collection natin? Okay? Bakit mataas ang expenses natin? Pero ba't wala tayo nagiging income? What's going on? So, nasa kanila yan, nasa safekeeping yan ng mga receipt. Kaya nga sabi natin sa company, kapag magaling mag-safekeep ang mga nasa accounting, nasa treasury, hindi magkakaroon ng malaking problema sa isang o hindi babagsak ang company, hindi magkakaroon ng malaking problema dyan. So, kailangan mo i-monitor. Okay? And doon pa lang sa trend na parang medyo bumaba na ng konti, kaya nga di ba meron tayo yung mga graph, di ba? Yung, yung mga going up and going down. Ngayon, pag nakita nyo, bakit tumab tumababa? Ano nangyayari? Huwag mo hayaan bumaba, syempre. So, you have to think of ways. You have to think of um, a strategy. Right? Kaya lang siyempre, pag hindi na kaya, lalo ngayon pandemic, ang daming naapektuhan. So, instead na ilaban mo pa yan, there are some companies na instead of, of um, digging, digging it more, so they have this option na just to close it. Okay? Or, they have to re-engineer the process of, of this particular company. Example natin ha, ng uh, re-engineering. 
So yung the typical in marketing, the typical uh, the typical brick and mortar, the same brick and mortar yung mga physical stores. So since the pandemic, okay, uh monti ang tao na pwedeng pumunta sa store nila. So a lot of people have this option to buy it online. So ikaw as um as the company owner, kung wala na masyadong bumibili sa company mo using that uh, physical store at nagre-rent ka. So talo ka doon. Diba? So, kailangan uh, you have to deal with what is new globally. What's new in the world. So, online. Everything online. So, you have to put all your items on sale using the online platform. Okay? So, pwedeng liitan mo na lang yung pwesto mo. You have to look for a, a store that is much smaller okay, and medyo compressed and with much lower rent. And at the same time, deal with the online shopping and then get um kumaga parang get this particular uh company for delivery for something kung ano man yung gagawin mo. All right? Para makakasunod ka sa Agos. Okay? Pero kung talaga hindi kaya, kaysa mag-acquire ka ng sobrang dami ng utang at magkaroon ka ng problema, might as well isara mo siya. Kaya, kumbaga, the trend right now for, for the economy or the company, ang dami nagsasara, lalo na yung mga small-scale uh, businesses. Kasi hindi talaga nakakaya. Alright? Kasi mas malaki yung nagiging expenses kesa dun sa income. Bawa restaurant, ba diba? Mas malaki nang yung nagiging expenses nila kasi may pinapaswell doon silang tao, nagbabayad sila ng upa, and yet, hindi nako-cover up ng mga nagda-dine-in. Bawal kasi yung dine-in nung mga time ng ECQ. Okay? What they can do is delivery. Eh, maraming tao hindi naman na kumaga um, hindi na rin nakakalabas, hindi na rin nagpapadeliver kasi nga syempre meron pang extra charge yun. Plus, marami rin nawala ng trabaho. So, by just forecasting, nakikita mo yung nagiging trend, ano ngayon ang gagawin mo? Alright? So, you're going to realize, you're going to think of ways na ano ba dapat natin gawin for the whole year kung ikaw ang business owner? Bakit siya mababa? Bakit siya mataas? What could be the reason? And then from that, ay isip mo siya, mag-iisip ka ng paraan na asa ah, susunod din ito gawin natin. So, so in every business, it's a must for you to record. It's a, mon- it's, it's a must for you to to check, to monitor uh, what's going on with your money, what's going on with your treasure. Okay? And then, <clears throat> these forecasts are needed for investment purposes So the treasury staff can plan to use investment uh, investment vehicles that are of the correct duration to match scheduled cash outflows. So they are needed for investment. So if we're, if we're, if we're going to forecast, okay? So alam natin na, um, alimbawa ngayong pandemic, so there are some companies na nag offer ng mga um, investment Okay, na malaki ang magiging interest, malaki magiging profit mo. So yung mga iba, they are engaging into that. Okay? Pwede kang mag-engage doon to earn more, pero you have to study the standing of that company. Okay? And then, you are go, if you're going to invest, you check the, the, the treasure or the asset that you have. Okay, kung magmamatch ba yan sa mga cash outflows kasi kailangan mo pa rin maglabas ng pera kailangan mo pa rin ng mga expenses ngayon, magkano yung papasok na pera sa iyo if you're going to engage in investment may matitira pa ba sa yung pera na on hand mo para pang gastos o wala na alright, and then the staff also uses the forecast to determine when more cash is needed so that it can plan to acquire funds either through the use of debt or equity. So, by means of forecasting, you are determining, you are knowing how much cash do I need more? How much money do I need it, Baba? If I'm going to, to acquire this um, particular item, if I'm going to acquire this particular asset, okay, if I'm going to acquire more fund, okay, with the use of my loan, with the use of, of uh, my equity. Okay? So, these things are needed in treasury management. You for monitoring the, the company asset. Monitoring the cash the company has. Okay? Are there any questions? 